Hello, my name is Marco Sommer. I'm Product Manager for SAP Security, and I wanted to share some insights for you into some recent innovation that we released in the Identity Authentication Service. Uh, it's about secure and strong authentication based on, on the FIDO standard. With the Identity Authentication Service, we are, as of today, offering already various ways how users can provide their secret in order to successfully authenticate at the Identity Authentication Service. That ranges from basic authentication, uh, but also passwordless authentication with X509 certificates or Kerberos SPNego. We can also validate credentials remotely, corporate identity provider via a secure tunnel based on the cloud connector. We have various ways for multi-factor authentication. We are supporting SMS, uh, time-based one-time password tokens, as well as web authentication. This was already beginning of this year, our first innovation that we supported this FIDO standard for stronger means of authentication. And this is something that we recently extended to leverage also FIDO standard for, as a first factor. And this, is, this gives a unique opportunity also for smaller uh, customers who cannot afford a, a PKI infrastructure with certificate-based authentication to allow passwordless authentication for their users. So this is a, a very fundamentally new technology that we are offering as a first factor. And that gives a far, an even richer uh, set of capabilities that the identity authentication service offers. Let's have a look behind the scenes what, what FIDO uh, actually is all about. Uh, so FIDO, Fast Identity Online, is in principle based on a collaboration of various companies that um, with the goal to abandon the need uh, for uh, passwords. Password-based authentication is judged as one of the most significant risks uh, that companies face uh, in the internet. And so this is something uh, that uh, these companies want to get, get rid of. A few years ago, this consortium of various companies released the FIDO2 standard, and this standard became very popular. As web authentication, it was a, a, adopted as a programming model by the World Wide Web Consortium for web-based uh, applications. And this is actually what the identity authentication makes use of. Now, let's have a look how such a scenario technically works and what's actually the difference uh, compared to authentication methods like uh, basic authentication with username and password. In a typical scenario, an end user wants to access an SAP cloud solution. This cloud solution delegates authentication to the identity authentication service. Then the identity authentication service will prompt the user with a login screen where he enters his username and password. And this secret is conveyed of course, in a protected communication, but it's conveyed to the identity authentication service where on the server side, uh, these credentials are validated. Now that's different with FIDO. So here, uh, the identity authentication service sends a challenge to the client uh, to validate a, a secret that the user provides. And this is a biometric a secret that is supported on, on the device. So that can be uh, fingerprint uh, authentication or facial uh, recognition. And then it's a means of, uh, of cryptography. In principle, the client sends a signed response back to the identity authentication service, which received at the time of registration, the public key and then can validate the response whether this user was indeed the holder uh, of the secret. And in that way, uh, the, the need for having the secret on the server side uh, is abundant. And thus, uh, it's, it's a far more secure and elegant way for users how to authenticate. Okay, let's have a look at the demo scenario. Here we have a quite simple setup. A business user uh, wants to access an SAP SuccessFactors demo instance that we have here. The SuccessFactors uh, application is configured to delegate authentication to the identity authentication service. Usually the user then is challenged with a lock on screen where he provides his credentials. But now we're going to change this authentication method and allow the user to provide biometric uh, authentication, fingerprint authentication. And in a second uh, scenario, we will request multi-factor authentication, uh, which the user can provide, for instance, via a YubiKey. So that about the demo scenario that we have. Let's see how it looks like in the real scenario. 
accessing the application. That's the login screen to access the uh, SuccessFactors demo instance. We first give it a try with the traditional way to authenticate with username and password. Uh, when the credentials were valid, identity authentication will grant access to success factors. Now let's log out and change the configuration. Here we see the administration console of the identity authentication service and we will adjust the settings for the trust configuration uh, to the success factors demo instance. Change the authentication and access. Here we have a new, uh, a new button to allow biometric authentication and we will see what changes on the logon screen. Let's refresh the application and we see that a new button appears that allows to authenticate with biometric uh, authentication. Here on my laptop, I have various demo users. That's why I have to select one. I scanned my finger uh, with a fingerprint on my laptop and thereafter I was successfully authenticated and identity authentication granted me again access to the SuccessFactors instance. Okay. Um, Let's change the configuration again and now um, ask for multi-factor authentication. We again have to adjust the configuration for the SuccessFactors demo instance for authentication and access and change the configuration for the so-called risk-based authentication setting. We will change the default behavior to request a second factor and as authentication protocol we select web authentication. Let's save the settings and see what changes in the login behavior. We have to reload the application so that the settings uh, will be adopted. We again will authenticate uh, via Windows fingerprint. And then I'm asked to provide a second factor. In that case here, I have to uh, provide a YubiKey, provide a key for the YubiKey, uh, thereafter touch the YubiKey in order to prove that I'm not a bot and thereafter I'm again successfully authenticated and identity authentication granted me access uh, to the SuccessFactors instance. So that's brand new uh, capabilities for the identity authentication service which we recently released. Thanks very much for watching uh, this session uh, about the identity authentication service. My name is Marco Sommer, product manager for SAP Security. Bye bye.